to Drag Race, we have the pageant that sparked a million plot lines <laughs> on Drag Race, honey. <laughs> We got Miss Gay America. First, you were the first alternate, and then you were the winner. Right, <laughs> now, right. And there's so many rumors about that. Right, we got to set the record straight because uh, Alyssa was the original winner. Right, and then she you won. Took, she won, and mm -hmm. then you took over the crown. Mm -hmm. And before that, your relationship was something really good, supportive. It, you know what? And to be, believe it or not, our relationship before that and after that, once we had our conversation, uh -huh. was. It's, uh, it's been perfect. It's right. been wonderful. Um, the thing that happened with Alyssa and I, Alyssa and I were always good competitors, and we knew it. We were at the pageant. It was 50-something girls, 56 girls, I think, at the pageant. And Alyssa come over, and she's like, girl, it's coming down to you and me in the pageant. I was like, well, girl, listen. <laughs> we both doing dance numbers. You're a technical dancer. You're, uh, you're absolutely amazing. I would not mind being your first runner-up, but let's just battle this out and see how it ends. And it ended up, she got crowned that night. And a lot of people do not know how genuinely I was happy for her I was that night. I mean, I lost. I was first runner-up. I still got a good check. Right. But <laughs> we went right upstairs. She took the crown off. I'll never forget, she took her picture, she did everything, we did everything downstairs. We went back to her hotel room, she took the crown off, she sat it down, she took a pad and pencil, and she said, you're coming back next year and you're coming back to win. And we went to writing, and she went to saying, you're gonna do this, and I'm getting J.D. Martin to do your gown, and you're gonna, I'm doing your talent, and this and other. We had that type of friendship. Uh -huh. So when I got the call, that, I mean, out of the clear blue, it was like this weird call. I was on my way to a booking, got this call and said, hi, a lawyer. I'm like, a lawyer? Oh, shit, what the hell did I do? Mm -hmm. You know? I'm like, right? I'm like, oh. And he said, tomorrow this is happening at 12 noon. And I was like, well, no. And he was like, well, yes. And what people don't understand about pageants on that level is, A, you sign a contract. Mm -hmm. If you, if you renege on that contract, they can sue you, mm. and you can be banned for life. Wow. So I would have, if I had even fought it and, or bucked it, I would have basically not ever had the opportunity to be Miss Gay America. Wow. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Because it became such a big scandal about oh, yeah. the crown being taken from her. Uh -huh. And I felt so bad for her, but I couldn't get her on the phone. Really? And we used to talk every day. Uh -huh. So, and, I, and afterwards, when we did talk, I found out she was going through such an emotional, with them taking the crown from her, mm -hmm. she was going through her own emotional thing at the time. So we didn't get a chance to talk to each other. And I was calling, 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 saying, girl, this is gonna happen tomorrow. What happened? Why is this happening? And then, oh my gosh, and you know it's social media. Uh -huh. So I was completely, oh, they, oh my God, everybody attacked me. It was Coco stole the crown. Yeah. This and other, Coco told on Alyssa this and the, told what? I don't even know what they were talking about. Right. It was so many different stories and uh -huh. we were like, wait a minute, what's going on? So we didn't talk for two years. But what, here's the mystery that is ah. still yet to be solved. Mm -hmm. What happened with Alyssa? <laughs> <laughs> and the crown. Okay. Why did Alyssa lose the crown? There was some differences between her and the, the owners of the pageant at the time. Mm -hmm. Alyssa, what, you do, what a lot of people do not understand and know about Alyssa, and you probably get to know it now from Dancing Queen and all her other shows, the things that she's been doing, right. which have been absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, she is a businessman. Uh -huh. She's a businessman. She had so much going on. And Alyssa will win the pageant, and she will... She's on to the next thing. Uh -huh. Well, with Miss America, they're like, you're crowned. Wait, by the way, the whole year, you got to work. You got to do this. And Alyssa's like, oh, no, baby. Wait. I got, <laughs> you know how Alyssa is. Yes. Oh, <laughs> baby, I got to do... No, y'all got to let me... And, and a lot of people were like, oh, she's wrong. She's this, she's that. And I'm like, no, you guys, you don't understand. She is all about the business, and she's all about getting things done. Mm -hmm. Miss America was just a pageant that required so much of your time that she wasn't able to give that time. Right. And her and the owners got into it. Uh -huh. And they didn't even give me an option. It was, it, it was we're doing this now, mm -hmm. and it's, you, gotta, you have to and accept please it. Please report to right. get your crown. You've got to accept <laughs> it. 
So, and it was hard on me. It was hard on my marriage. I bet. Oh, my God. I, it put... It put a strain on it. Miss America, that year was very hard on, on my, my life. Uh -huh. It was a really hard life. Because all, we, all, we all just want to win. We all compete. We just want to win. Yeah. And she won. And it was six points between us. And we were happy. We were like, girl, that was a tough one, but you did it. We, we're good. <laughs> right. And you're, you'll come back next year and win. And people don't understand that. That's, so that's the real mm. deal. And no one has told the story Fully. Clearly. Like, we've heard so many yeah, little bits. Yeah, and that's the full story of yeah. what happened. It wasn't as... Of course, for TV, it, it gets long and long. And, Girl. Well, what the TV wanted to portray, they wanted to talk more about the fact that we hadn't talked for two years and that we were finally going to see each other. Right. And I think with Alyssa, at the time, she just didn't... Alyssa knew... I looked up to Alyssa. So I was there when she won USA, Miss USA. Mm -hmm. I was such a huge fan before I was a friend. And then when I became a friend and that happened to her, it wasn't that she was embarrassed, but she felt like she let people down. Mm -hmm. And she hadn't let anybody down. It was just they had differences. And that, and so she she would never pick up the phone. Right. <laughs> She's like, Coco's calling. You know, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, and then people were, yeah, and then people were attacking me. So it was uh -huh. like, And uh -huh. were they whispering in her ear too? Like, what yeah, oh, from well, you Coco and, said this. Mm -hmm. So they would attack me online and, you know, me, I'm gonna, oh, you're gonna say something about me? I'm gonna say something back. I'm like, well, girl, I'm laying on the beach drinking a margarita with my crown sitting here. <laughs> so then they would snapshot that and then they would send it to her and then it'd be like, Oh, Coco throwing you shade. Uh -huh. It was not, it was not shade right. with me and her, and they made it into this big old thing, and I was mm -hmm. like, no, no. Well, then.